My name is Emily Kern and I'm a math instructional coach in Austin, Texas. Let's look at how to find the surface area of a trapezoidal prism. A trapezoidal prism is a 3D figure with two parallel bases that are trapezoids. And when we're talking about finding the surface area of it, what we're talking about is the amount of space it would take to completely cover it. We're calculating in two dimensions, which means it will be in square units. One way to find the surface area of a trapezoidal prism is by looking at the net, which is basically just if you unfolded the prism and then took a look at the shapes that it made. As you can see, when we unfolded our 3D figure, we made a net that has two congruent trapezoids and four rectangles. All we have to do is find the area of each face and add them together, and that will be the surface area of a trapezoidal prism. For instance, this rectangle is a five by five rectangle, also known as a square, which has an area of 25. This is a five by six with an area of 30. Finding the area of a trapezoid looks complicated, but don't be scared. The formula is one half of base one plus base two multiplied by the height. Base one is six, base two is 12. If you add those together, you get 18. Cut that in half, that's nine times four is 36. The area of this trapezoid is 36, which means the area of this trapezoid is also 36. The other way to find the surface area of a trapezoidal prism is to use the formula S equals PH plus 2B, where P represents the perimeter of the base and B represents the area of the base. In this case, the area of the trapezoid. In conclusion, there are two ways you could find the surface area of a trapezoidal prism. One would be to find the area of all the faces and add them together. The other is to use the formula S equals PH plus 2B.